Hey guys, Anglor here. Welcome back to Resonance of Fate. In the last part, we finished the prologue. And in this part, we'll start the first chapter. So, we should have our intro cutscene pretty quick Never. here. Lunch is ready! Oh, wake up already! Do you know what time it is? I was getting ready to go out. What? He's mad. Out? Out where? Catch you later. What? Wait, where are you going? So we start chapter one. The weight of a life. Let's go to the guild and get our missions first. Cause I don't know. I don't know if I want to do those first or if I want to do the main mission first. The main mission isn't really that bad, but usually doing the side missions first makes things easier. So what does this guy want? He wants us to... Hmm. We just gotta talk to him. Okay, so we gotta talk to Daniel at night, and we can talk to this other guy whenever we want. Hi. So, I just need to go grind for some energy hexes. I can do that. Because... Of course I have zero. I need to get enough hexes so that we can go to the huge power station. KO. Uh, not really a fair fight, was it? And that gets us one energy hex. I don't even think I can Let's check my memo. So I have to go see Teresa and... I think I should just do the main mission first, because I need a red hex to even go that way. Hello? So, let's see. I think I can only see her at night. Oh, no. It's day. I'm good. Okay, so her house is over there. Let's go on in. So we're just waiting here. Enjoying yourself? As a matter of fact, I am. Just how long have you been with us now? Not long enough to be much use. I at least learned to cook. I'm worthless in the kitchen. Excuse me, sir. Cardinal Teresa has arrived. So our cardinals here. You two wait here. So good to see you again, Vacheron. 
Dispense with the formalities. Such displays ill suit you. The boy is looking well enough. It took some time, but he'll be all right. <laughs> you reap what you sow. <coughs> <laughs> Zephyr can't handle his liquor. She's not your usual type, is she? Zephyr saved her life, and she followed him home. Saved her life? The boy? Yes. She's become something of a fixture now. <laughs> Perhaps he's changed after all. If you don't mind, I'm here on business. Of course you are. I can scarcely get down there on these old legs of mine. And I know you wouldn't go unless I asked you. So we found a flower. And now we have some red energy hexes. And we get a station hex, which lets us save on the world map. Because without the use of them, the only places you can save are abandoned stations and dungeons. And at the base. So we'll head back down. How you doing? <laughs> okay. And I think I'll actually rush the clock forward so I can go talk to Daniel before doing anything. Cause I'm thinking I might want to get some gun parts before this mission. Cause ugh, the boss isn't terribly difficult, but I don't know. The way this game works is that if you can't one-hit kill something, it'll probably wreck you. So... Let's just stall the clock. Like, how long could it take to become knight? Anyway, we've opened the path up to where we need to go, but the date's still not changing. Can you please just get dark already? Should have gotten dark by now. No. Well, I need more energy hexes anyway, so. Well, that was not what I wanted to do. Let's try this again. I'm gonna have more holes in a beehive, apparently. And that's the end.
Oh yeah, I guess something else I should mention. The only thing leveling really does in this game is increase the amount of gun parts you can carry and your health. And your charge count, which is how many times that circle can move. Hmm, looks like I have more energy X's than I thought I did. Let's open up the way to level 5. Or 6, because we'll need to go there. So, we found a first aid. That's not bad. And there go all my hexes. What's down here? A cutscene. It's a fake. Yeah, real flowers aren't easy to come by. Oh, yeah, you're right. To the right. Just a little more. Uh, there. That's it. If it's pretty, who cares if it's real or not? And that was a pretty emo comment by Zephyr there. Anyway, as I expected, I can't move around here until I get more energy hexes. <laughs> As usual, leader assaults the way to go. I should make this shot with my eyes. That for sure. uh, let's not let this go to our head. Now let's focus on making that path to the power plant. I just need one more hex, and then I can claim my reward. How about that? Oh, great. So it looks like I can't get a leader assault this time. Whatever. There we go. Except I'm gonna have more holes in a beehive. Whatever. Level up! I like this point in the game where the handgun damage actually means something. Now then. Oh sure. I can cover like everywhere except the one space I want to cover. Typical. Well, I found some grenades, which is nice. There we go. It's open, so now the job's clear. Let's talk to the staffer and see if our job's update after this. No. I just have to wait for day to become night so I can talk to Daniel.
Yeah, I need more energy X's. Let's run over and get the kill. I think I'll get another hex and that might be all I need. Head back down to level six and see what I can do. So, with two of these, I can open up a bit of stuff. And he's done. Let's not let this go to our heads. So Now that I've cleared that up. Huh. I believe we found a new hair color. Because the way this game works... You can customize your character's clothing completely. It's a pretty cool feature. Anyway. Yeah. Can't believe I was forgetting how to pick the station hex. Let's put that up there. And we didn't really do a whole lot, but I kind of want to finish the dungeon all in one you go, so I'll end the part off here. Next time on Resonance of Fate, we'll start the game's first dungeon, Lucia. See you guys then.